Hi viewers, welcome to my another video. Today I am going to discuss a problem which was occurring at D275A-5R bulldozer when I was informed about this issue I went on the site and inquired from the operator about the problem. He told me two to four times a day warning light blinking on the dashboard and some errors appear on the computer screen and at the same time steering of the machine stops working it moving in one direction not turn left not turn right and sometimes the gear speed also not uh, working and the, then I stop the machine and switch it off and after one to two minutes I switch it again then machine start working normally and code disappeared and warning light become uh, normal and after sometimes two hours sometimes five hours sometimes six hours again happen like this and I stop the machine and uh, off switch off machine and switch on machine then it's become normal when I uh, complete my inquiry from the operator I went inside the cabin and I check the code history which are installed in the computer memory I already have made a video about the code history how I can how we can find the code history of the commerco bulldozer you can watch my that video by click on this i button or click down on the link which i have given in the description and i check the code history so i found the three error codes By using the service manual, I check the meaning of these three error codes or description of these error codes which you can see in this video. In troubleshooting, first of all, I check the output voltages of the steering sensor and the gear sensor by putting the computer into real-time monitoring mode. How I check the output voltage of these sensors, you have to see this video. Get this type of screen. So now I am using this switch like this so this number 10 is a real time monitoring mode so now I am at the real time monitoring mode so I select this mode by using this button like this so now here he is asking for the code so which atom we want to which atom we want to uh, monitor we put the code of that one so first i will enter the code of the forward gear so for forward gear his code is a 50200 how we can enter the code so by using this button by using this one this was up and this is a down this increase the digit this decrease the digit this side so by using this one when we press this button we can here get the number so i use this one one two three 
four, five. So here you can see I get the five number. So far, if we want to go next digits, so by using this one, we can go next digits. So now you can see our second digit is blinking. So it means we can uh, put the digits here, but uh, I need zero it here. So now I will go the next next digits. How we can by using this one? Now is my third digits is blinking. So here I put two. By using this button, I will get the two here like this. You can see one two. So this is a two hundred. This is the code of the forward. Blinking. So, uh, sorry, this code is for not forward gear, it is for reverse gear. So now our machine is in the neutral position. So its voltages are 2, 4, 6, 8. So when I put the machine in the reverse gear, its voltage should be changes. If the voltages are changes and it is uh, between 3 to 4 voltages, so it's mean our sensor output voltage is good and our sensor is okay. So now I'm going to put this gear in reverse. So now you can see our machine is reverse gear and its voltage is about 3538 millivolt. So now when volt one volt is increased, so it's mean our sensor output voltage is okay. Okay. Now as I put in neutral, so it's, I put the code for forward gear, so for forward go, uh, gear, what we can do, we can, our digits increase. So this one is uh, our code for forward direction, forward directions, 50201, this is a for forward, we check the uh, monitoring voltage, real time monitoring voltage, output voltage for the forward gear. So when I put this lever in forward direction, so now our gear is in forward directions. So you can see our voltage is 3553 five, millivolts. So its voltage also increases, mean our forward and reverse gear sensor is a okay so now i am going to check the i'm going to check for uh, steering steering turning left and right code checking the output voltage for the steering sensor by using this one button i will go back i so so you can see by using this one i will go to the uh, steering output sensor so this is a 50300 this is a for steering lever sensor one okay so this is a for the right turning this is a 50300 is a for the right turning steering sensor output so I when I put I push like this this is right side turning I put the lever on right side turning so here you can see the so voltage become 3958 millivolt so it's mean our right turning sensor output voltage is, is increased it's become 3958 it's mean our right right side sensor is also good if I put in like a neutral in the middle so you can check its voltage 2.3 okay this is a, I left the lever so now it is okay. okay now I want to check the left hand side turning steering sensor output voltages so I by using this one I go next stage like this so now I get the code is a 58301 this is for the left 
टर्निंग स्टेरिंग आउटपुट आउटपुट वोल्टेज सेंसर सो नाउ आई पुट माई दिस लीवर दिस डायरेक्शन ऑन द राइट साइड ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड्स दिस वन आई पुट ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड्स सो वैन आई पुट लाइक दिस ऑन द माई लेफ्ट साइड ओके यू कैन सी लाइक लेफ्ट साइड्स आई टर्न लेफ्ट साइड्स तो यू कैन सी आवर दिस इज आवर लेफ्ट साइड आउटपुट वोल्टेज ऑफ द लेफ्ट टर्निंग स्टेयरिंग सेंसर वोल्टेज इज थ्री नाइन एट थ्री इट मीन आवर लेफ्ट साइड वोल्टेज इज ऑल्सो ओके व्यूअर्स यू कैन सी इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई हैव चेक द आउटपुट वोल्टेज ऑफ द ऑल सेंसर फॉर फॉरवर्ड एंड रिवर्स गेयर सेंसर एंड ऑल्सो स्टेयरिंग टर्निंग सेंसर सो इट्स मीन आवर सेंसर आर ओके I open all the connectors from here. Here, from here. Okay. So this way, I also clean here. So I am going to clean all the connectors. Then we'll you can see our sensors are okay. And when we switch off the machine and again switch on the machine, code disappeared, and warning light again become normal. So I guess there is not a big issue. There is only problem is that somewhere are the loose connections are dirty connectors. i disconnected the uh, connectors i clean them and then connect them back tightly so in this way i solve this problem hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video to your friends thanks